All right. I think that the last video worked out pretty well. And would you mind continuing with? Right. Oh, again, I'm how Susan, do you want me and this to, is How do you Tom. want me to start? Do you want me to say who I am, or just? Just we can just briefly say I'm Susan right, there, Aldridge, and all you're. All right. There is Tom Baker. some further. Okay, I'm Thomas F. Baker, and I'll continue what I know of the uh, little seal brought from England by Henry the First. There is a letter. I believe it. I have it, but I do not have it to hand. Dated uh, 17. Excuse me, 1889, from. Uh, William Saunders of North Carolina to J.L.G. Baker in Florida. And it discusses the seal that he had seen in Florida that see, it was different slightly from the seal that he had had made by a jeweler in Baltimore, I believe, that was slightly different from the little seal in Florida and he did not know why it was different and at a later time I will find the actual letter and read from that what Colonel Saunders said about trying to determine what the difference in the two seals were but at one time in the in in the late 1800s there were in existence two of these little seals one slightly different than the other. Okay, so when you say there are two seals, there the one that we saw in Mariana, the black one, is the one that came over in the late 1600s. That, that, that is our understanding. Our belief, and that's a little, little bit melted. Now, the other one is one that William Saunders had had somebody a had jeweler had made created it. Yeah, Do and he refers to the jeweler in Baltimore. Do you think that they used the Florida seal as like the... That is my understanding. Like that was what they used to replicate that it. Was, it, it, was slightly, it was slightly different. Okay. No. And we don't know where that And it is. may have been different in, in the crest rather than, than, the, than the arms. Well, but it may have been different in the size, but it was different. I just can't... I had the letter, but I just can't find it right now. So William Saunders was Laura's husband, right? William Saunders was a grandson of Simmons Jones Baker Sr. So Laura's son, William Saunders, because Laura Saunders was William, was Laura, Simmons Jones' Laura Saunders daughter. was, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so Simmons Jones Baker Sr. had a daughter named Laura. His eldest daughter was Laura. And Laura is the one who married a Saunders, and yes. she had a son named William. He had, uh, and, uh, and other children named And William. other children. Yes. But William is the one who wrote this letter. Yes. Okay. Okay. And as I, he wrote, he wrote to, I have one to hand, dated 1855, from Gatesville, North Carolina, to uh, uh, J.L.G. Baker in, in Florida. But they had another one after the war, I recall it was 1789 that he's discussing the seal that he had seen in Florida and the seal that he had had made or somebody had had made in, uh, in, in Baltimore. Now, I have no idea what happened to that seal made in Baltimore. So my understanding is that Laura, Simmons Jones Baker's daughter, is the one who encouraged Dr. Simmons Jones Baker to write his recollections. That is what and that is what is in the, the Dr. Baker's recollections that it was made, especially at the rec the recollections were made in 1847, especially at the request of his daughter Emily. Oh, we've gone a little long here, okay. so we probably should wrap up, but we'll start another one. All right.